back to a country boy can cook. Well, except this morning, I'm not cooking. I'm doing some mixing. Yeah, I'm gonna mix up one of my favorite drinks. It's a Bloody Mary. Well, except I ain't got no Mary in it, but it, it it's good. So let me, and you can put your own Mary in you if you want to. I've had it with tequila and vodka and gin, and I've had it through the years, but I just don't hardly drink alcohol anymore, but I still like the taste of a good Bloody Mary. So here's how I do mine. Get all this stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I've got some tomato juice. I've got one ounce of olive juice. That replaces the Mary. I've got some lime that I uh, got some lime that I use to uh, rim the glass. Just a little bit of squirt of that in there. Got some W. Leanne Pierron's. A few shakes of that. And this is going to be a, a drink plus a refill. Alright. For spice, or some of the spice, got about half a teaspoon of horseradish. About that same amount of garlic. Always put in some black pepper, coarse ground. And then I hit it with a little cap dog jalapeno. Just a few shakes. Then I hit it with some cap dog Cajun seasoning. Just a little. And stir it up really good. You see I rimmed the glass in here. That's Camp Dog. It's Camp Dog original. Get you some. Let me have a taste of this, see what it's like. Oh my goodness, that's good. All right. Let's see if we can pour this in here. And I'll go over with my, I'll go over in a little bit with what I have for my tree toppers. So this is a drink and a half. There she is, boys and girls. Camp dog around the rim of the glass. My tree toppers. Some celery. That's chicken fried bacon. Yeah, Billy's bacon out of Fairhope, Alabama. Some cheese. Dill pickles. Some more Billy's bacon in chunks that I cut up off of a slab. Yeah, you know this is gonna be good. And of course, Camp Dog. Couldn't do it all without him. All right, let's get a taste of this. I have to pull my tree toppers back. Oh my goodness, that's good. You ain't missing nothing by not having the Mary in it, as I call it. Just, it tastes like it. It's got the extra zip with that olive juice in it. Mm, it's so, so good. And, and let me have a bite here. Let me see what we got here. This is Billy's bacon that I cut off of a big slab he sent me. And I'm not paid by Billy's Bacon. I'm not paid by Camp Dog. They just send me this stuff to try. And I definitely am glad of it. I do appreciate it, guys. So let's get a bite of this. Mm. Good. 
that chunked up slab bacon cooked. I cooked it slow in the skillet. Mm. It's really good. Get another drink here. Get my tree garnish out of the way. My goodness. Alright, let's get a taste of this chicken fried bacon. I made this uh, a couple of weeks ago and I put a couple of pieces in the freezer and froze it. You can check out my 14-year-old uh, neighbor. I taught him how to cook in chicken fried bacon. There, I've got a video on it if you want to see this. This is really good stuff. Like, it can be very addictive. Let's get a bite of this. Mm. You can see it. That bacon's perfectly done. And I used about... I cut off the slab about three inch of an inch thick bacon to chicken fry it in about four inch pieces. Mm. I've seen bacon chicken fried from thin to thick, but it's better thick. Mm. And so nobody thinks I'm not getting my vegetables with my morning drink. <clears throat> pickle <clears throat> and some cheese mm. I want to make sure all my food groups are covered hold on a sec good morning missy good morning miss wife are you filming? yeah but I'm filming right here they ain't seen you run around in your drawer tails uh. <laughs> she's just getting up I don't know if I was filming so, get another drink of this my goodness it's bloody Mary you can make it your own add whatever flavors you like but I'm telling you this Cajun style with the Billy's bacon oh my goodness and Billy's is out of Fairhope Alabama I'll put a contact number up and a link for him you can order a drink from him it's small batch smoked bacon Really interesting story about him and Camp Dog Papa Scott. Uh, you can order direct from him. And actually, I've got a code that you can use to get 20% off when you order it. It's CBCC. That's like Country Boy Can Cook. CBCC. Use that when you place your order and you get 20% off. And I don't make any money off of any of this stuff. I just uh, test their products and they're all really good or I wouldn't be talking about it. So I'm gonna have the rest of my breakfast here. I'm gonna drink my breakfast. I get all my food groups, vegetables, you know, the tomato and pickles and olives and celery, proteins, got that covered for sure. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoy this recipe. If you're not uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification button. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I had a guy send me a note the other day in all capital letters, get out of that chair, will you? If you've not seen my videos before, uh, if you have, you know that I came home uh, actually two years ago in a wheelchair after a massive heart event. Couldn't walk. So, I'm walking now. But, uh, anyway... You can go back and look on one of my videos. I'll, I'll put the comment he put up. I, I just thought, it didn't make me mad, but I'm just thinking, you know, why do you think you have the right? And of course it was in all capitals letters, but to tell me to get out of my chair, even if I walked and I wanted to cook, and I do walk, but I just can't stand for very long periods of time. It'd be my right. You know, you don't have, your right can't infringe on mine. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Thanks for being here. And I'll catch you on the next video.